in my experience, not many people in the church would cite the books of Deuteronomy or Leviticus as being among their favorite books in the Bible. But when a scribe asked Jesus what the most important teaching was, Jesus went straight to those two books, which might be a clue for us that we ought to do a little more teaching about those two books. Jesus said that the most important commandment was to love the Lord your God with all of your heart, all of your soul, all of your mind, and all of your strength, which comes from Deuteronomy chapter 6. But before the scribe could nod his head and say, Ooh, how very religious of you, Jesus said that a second commandment is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself, which is from Leviticus chapter 19. Love God, love neighbor, love yourself. We cannot love God if we are not loving our neighbor. And we will not truly love our neighbor if we do not truly love ourselves. They're all connected. Now, if you skim the bookshelves at Barnes & Noble, you might think that spirituality is all about God or maybe all about God and ourselves. But according to Jesus, who stands in the great stream of the Jewish faith, spirituality has everything to do with how you love your neighbor. So that the clear and bright line that we thought was there between the spiritual and the material turns out not to be quite so clear or quite so bright. The material is infused with the spiritual, which is what we mean when we say that in Jesus, the Word became flesh. What you do with your body, how you relate to other people's bodies, these are profoundly spiritual matters because it's all connected. Issues of social justice are not only about how we relate to our neighbors, they're also about how we relate to God. Social justice and spirituality are profoundly connected to each other. Love of God and love of neighbor are connected. Wide gaps between rich people and poor people, that's a spiritual issue. Racial disparities in the criminal justice system, which many of us are becoming newly conscious of these days, those are spiritual issues. How we relate to those with whom we disagree in a polarized society, that is a spiritual issue. As my wife Laura likes to say, justice is love out loud. 1 John chapter 4 teaches us that if we do not love people whom we can see, then we cannot love God whom we cannot see. What does it mean to love your neighbor? Who is your neighbor? Where is our neighborhood? What is the relationship between neighbors and enemies? What if your neighbor turns out to be an enemy. What does it mean to love your enemy? Who boy. These are big issues, and they're big issues today. And these are profoundly spiritual issues. The first commandment is to love God. The second commandment is like it, to love your neighbor as yourself. Friends, be well, and may you be energized and strengthened by God's presence with you in your life this week, whatever may come. We'll see you soon.